Hey guys and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to continue with the modeling of the buildings. So let's start. So let's start by organizing these new elements. So we are going to just select them and pressing Alt G or Option G. We're going to create a new null object from these selected elements and we're going to name it environment and we are going to hide it from the view and it's going to be only visible on the render so now let's go to the building O3 and we are going to start working on this building now here on the front view we are going to select it and make it visible and we are going to hide this other building because we are going to be able to concentrate better if we don't have all of those extra elements. So let's go to Google Earth to see how these new windows have to be. And now let's go back to Cinema 4D. And again, using the same technique that we used before, using this ruler, we're just going to make it the size that we need. And we're going to use this to measure. So let's just make some copies. And we're going to move them to wherever we need them. So we need one more. And after that we can start making these new cuts for for the holes for these windows and doors that we have to create on this other building. So let's select the building of three elements and on this edge mode we're going to just uh, select the knife tool and again make sure that we are using the loop mode and we're going to just make these new cuts here that's okay now we have to check that everything is okay and everything is aligned So now let's go ahead and make these horizontal cuts like that. And here and one more over here. Now let's move down and let's continue making these cuts. Now here on the first floor, we uh, have this door, so we need to cut there. So now we can just uh, get rid of these rulers that we had and hide the other one so we can use it later. Now let's change to the point mode and make sure that we have selected this building O3. Let's select the ring selection. Let's make sure that we are on the uh, um, edge mode. 
and we're going to divide this like that. So now let's make sure that we are on the point mode and let's go to the select menu and select the loop selection. And let's select these points that are on top of those windows. And we have to unselect these points that are in the middle of the windows. And right after that, we are going to move down the rest of the points that are still selected. So you can see now that these windows have a rounded shape. Um, we can go to the perspective view to see this better. We can see that they they are not square anymore. And let's uncheck the X-ray view so we can see better. And that is looking good. Now back to the front view. We are going to select the polygon mode. And we are going to start selecting all of these windows so we can extrude them. Make sure you select all of them. Let's continue selecting. And when we are done, we are going to set the selection. And this is one of the times when uh, this comes in handy. And we are going to go to the menu, select, and set selection and let's just rename it to window selection b3 and now let's make these new windows that we have here we have to go to the knife tool and the shortcut for the knife tool is the letter k so let's make these cuts here that we need. And I think we have to make uh, one more right here. So now let's bring back the previous selection. And first uh, let's make these windows here. So we have to use the extrude inner tool and selecting those polygons we are going to extrude a little and now let's bring back the previous selection and add these new windows here. Here on the perspective view we can see that we are ready to extrude these holes for these windows and these doors. But uh, first, let's uh, remove these polygons that we have at the bottom of this building because we don't really need them. So let's go ahead and select those polygons and just uh, press delete so we can get rid of them. And here on the front view, we can see that there is one more door that we uh, still have to make. So let's select those polygons and using the extrude inner tool, we're going to just uh, click and drag to make room for this new door. And now back on the perspective view, we're going to bring back the selection that we had previously and we are going to add these new windows here. So let's just check that we have all of the polygons selected and once we have them selected we can go ahead and extrude these new holes. So let's go first and set this new selection. So it uh, has the new windows that we added and let's uh, make visible the rest of the building so we can see how deep we have to extrude and let's just uh, click and drag 
there. One more there. And the last one there. And we are ready. So now let's uh, select this building O3 and turn off the X ray option so we can see better. And let's make a quick render to see how this is working out so far. And this looks really nice. We still have lots of things to learn. On the next lesson, we are going to be working on the details of these buildings. So stay tuned and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.